My name is Ella Anderson. I'm 18 years old and I've been doing art for as long as I can remember. Art therapy is a way for someone to express who they are and how they feel without using words. They use pictures, sometimes even just food. People use food <laughs> and um, furniture and people use clothing. Um, art therapy is more than just art. Like, I think people section it off because they think that it's limited to just paintings and just drawings and um, the truth about it is it's really not limited to just this. Like, I would say that art you can find it anywhere, in numbers, in letters, in books. <laughs> and um, people don't always see it like that. They see it as just something that creative people can do, but really everyone's creative. And I don't think it's fair that people consider just paintings as art when there's so much more around them. There's the physical side of art, like you have your paintings, your drawings, your sculptures. I know some really cool people who can do these amazing sculptures. I can't, I can't sculpt to save my life. And if I tried, I, it's, it's ended pretty badly. I mean, I've tried. I took a couple classes. Oh my goodness, I've taken some classes. It's not work. <laughs> and um, there are people who can do it with furniture. Like the way that they express themselves through furniture is they add different fabrics, colors, textures. It's really interesting, actually. I can't do it again. I tried. I've tried. <laughs> Most of the time, the stuff that I make just falls apart. So that's when I realized that painting and drawing were for me as an artist because... I can express how I feel without having to say anything. And I know I've said that like a hundred times, but it really is important that you get that because you have to be able to say who you are and how you feel without saying why you feel it, like to physically say it to someone because it's a really hard process for people to go through and it hurts and it's not fair. It's definitely not fun. Well, I mean, it's the art part of it is really fun, but the explaining who you are to someone you don't know, that's hard. Like, it's a difficult process to tell someone that you've been through a lot and that you can't always fix yourself, but you're willing to show people what you've been through. And so, but these are my two paintings, um, my two favorites at least. I have tons of paintings, and right now actually these two are still in the process of being done, because I, <laughs> as an artist, you're never really done with your artwork because you feel like it's a part of you, and so the pieces of it are never really finished in your head. You think, oh, it's finished, it's good, and then about an hour later you come back and you're like, excuse me, I thought we, I, I thought we talked about this. You said you were done. You said you were done. Look, you're done. That's done. And then, you know, 20 minutes later, you come back and you've got your brushes and you're like, well, I lied. You're definitely nowhere near being done. So I'm going to start back up on that. The problem is, is to find that feeling, the original motion you started with. And you can't always find that. You think, because when I first started this one, for example, I was going for like sort of the floral look over here. I'm not very good at painting flowers in general. I am amazing at drawing flowers. I can do really detailed, really beautiful flowers, but I cannot for my life paint them. So I was like, I'll just do some splotches. <laughs> and a lot of art is accidental too. Like you wouldn't expect it. You think I planned this? No, no, there was no planning involved. 
not even a little bit <laughs> i just sort of got the canvases and i turned on my music and yeah it happens like all the stuff that was in my head kind of came out and this one was mostly inspired by um I was watching this video at the time because I was really into Panic at the Disco, and they have this one video where the girl has this fishbowl over her head and it's square. And I really thought about that, you know, like how it feels to be kind of in a fishbowl, how you see the same things day after day, but in a different perspective than you normally would. And how no matter how fast you swim, you can't get away from certain things and you don't always understand why and um i put the flowers over here on her dress i guess sort of as um i, I just like decoration you know i thought they were pretty and i really like the color purple <laughs> and um over here um i painted her She's actually supposed to be somewhat of a self-portrait. I don't know if you can tell. Probably not, because I painted her, I'm, I believe my freshman year is when I started her. And then I finished her towards the end of junior year. And I was never really happy with her. I'm still not that happy. I mean, she's definitely the better out of many of my paintings, but I don't, you know, you never really quite accept yourself. You love pieces of you love them but there are those pieces where you feel like you just don't add up and you can't always explain why but at the time i was going through a really hard situation i lost a few of my family members to cancer and i lost my dad not to cancer but i guess he never really liked me as a person so he stopped talking to me and hasn't talked to me since and i lost one of my friends recently <laughs> to something else but so yeah it's really painful process to get all of those emotions out on canvas and sometimes it can be really liberating like the blue around it is the cooler feeling. It's sadness, but it's acceptance of what's happened. And even though it hurts to feel that that's who I am now. And the rib cage is there. She doesn't have arms. <laughs> no, she doesn't have arms. I know you're looking at it like, is that an arm? Because everybody <laughs> looks at it like that. <laughs> And I can't always tell them. I can't always be like, no, it's not an arm. It's like, it's, it's not an arm. No, it's not. <laughs> um, it's her torso. And this is the pain breaking through. And this is acceptance over here. And this is the hurt and the release of that pain. And this is feeling like you've gone through fire to get to water and you're drowning, but you can't really explain why. And in the end, we end up over here in a more happier setting-ish. <laughs> That's why I like this one better. I definitely don't like the fish. He's not done yet. Watching you. He's not. <laughs> he doesn't get me. <laughs> he's supposed to, but he's just not doing his job. Are you a little fishy? No. <laughs> so. And um, I was in a much happier place when I did this one. I mean, I was still hurting, but in a different way. So I had come to realization that you can't always fix everything. And even when you want to, you just kind of got to let things roll themselves out. And yeah. <laughs> So that's about it. <laughs> that's all I have to say. <laughs>